Hello friends, welcome back. I'm glad you're here to listen for our, to our Come Follow Me lesson. Before we get started, let me ask about our challenge from last week. How did it go? You were supposed to write a letter or draw a picture for someone that you thought was feeling discouraged or was having a hard time. Were you able to do that? Were you able to take it to them or send it to them? I hope that you felt the spirit and that it helped to lift you up to be able to do that for someone else. This week in Come Follow Me, we are um, studying Moroni chapter 10. So <clears throat> the first part is all about how we can learn for ourselves that the Book of Mormon is true. And before we talk about Moroni, I want us to first listen to a song called The Golden Plates. enjoyed that song. I did. I thought it was a really great song. Let's go ahead and talk now with Jonah and Abram um, and let's listen to that part. As you can see, we have Jonah and Abram again with us today. Jonah and Abram, I want you to look at this picture and tell me who it is. Moroni. This is Moroni. Do you recognize that picture, Abram? What is he doing in this picture? He's burying the plates. He's burying the plates. He's putting those plates in the ground. Abram, do you know what is on the plates? Uh, you couldn't help Writing. There are writings on the plates. Good job. Jonah, what are the writings of? Do you know what they are? People. The with the people who write them and then they died and then they gave them to the sons. Yes, these plates are the Book of Mormon and Moroni has helped um, translate them and he's helped put them together and he's now burying them in the ground. And we are able to have them now as the Book of Mormon because Joseph Smith translated them. It's pretty cool, huh? Well, we are so glad that Moroni did this so that we can have the Book of Mormon. Joan and Abram, as you saw, were looking at a picture of Moroni. And I love that Jonah knew who that was instantly. He had seen that picture before. So in Moroni chapter 10, he, we learn more about the very end of Moroni's life, at the very end of what's happening with him. So there is a chapter that we can actually watch that goes over that life story of Moroni. So we're going to watch a short video now about Moroni. Chapter 54, The Promise of the Book of Mormon. Before Moroni buried the plates for the last time, he wrote a promise to the Lamanites and to anyone else who would read the record. He told people to read the records, really think about them, and then ask Heavenly Father if they are true. Moroni promised that if people would ask sincerely, with faith in Christ, the Holy Ghost would help them know the records are true. Moroni wrote that if people repent, follow Jesus Christ, and love Heavenly Father, they can become perfect. When Moroni finished writing on the gold plates, he hid them in a stone box in the hill Cumorah and covered the box with a big rock. His mortal work was finished. Bruno and I had so much faith. I'm just so impressed with him and the skill he had to work on the plates and to persevere to the end. It must have been a hard time in his life that he went through. But I love that in Moroni 
chapter 10, verse 4, he has this great um, promise that he makes to us. I want to read that verse. Moroni 10, 4. And when ye shall receive these things, I would exhort you that ye would ask God, the Eternal Father, in the name of Christ, if these things are not true. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, with real intent, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. So his dad had, com had helped compile all these books into the Book of Mormon, and Moroni now has the plates at the very end before he buries it, as we saw, to leave for Joseph Smith to receive later. And he has this amazingly powerful scripture and promise that he gives to us about asking if these plates, those scriptures are true, the Book of Mormon, if it is true. And he exhorts us, which is just this really strong way to say, you need to do this, you need to ask God. And he says you can ask Heavenly Father, but how do we do that? How do we ask Heavenly Father? We pray to him. So he says you pray to Heavenly Father with a sincere heart and with real intent, which means that we take this seriously. We don't just pray just, you know, having a fun day. We want to pray to Heavenly Father. We pray and we say, okay, I really want to know. I really want to have Heavenly Father answer this prayer. And he promises us that if we pray, Pray with a sincere heart, with real intent, and having faith. We've talked about a couple weeks ago about how we can do these amazing things when we have faith. That he, Jesus Christ, will manifest the truth of it. Manifest means he's going to show it to us. Show us the truth of the Book of Mormon by the power of the Holy Ghost. So I want to tell you a little story about how I found out the Book of Mormon was true. Um, I grew up in the church. Both my parents are converts. Uh, meaning that they were taught by the missionaries as adults and then joined the church. So they were in their you know, 20s, 21, 22, 23, when the missionaries came to them and they were taught by them the lessons, very similar to what we learn all about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And they both felt strongly that it was true and they were baptized. They later met each other and were married. Uh, I have eight siblings. I'm the fifth child of nine, and so I have a very big family. And we were all taught uh, that the Book of Mormon is true. We were read the Book of Mormon every morning over breakfast. Uh, we attended church every Sunday. We were all baptized at the age of eight. Uh, several of my siblings, including myself, served missions. In fact, I think, let me calculate, seven out of nine of us served missions. So one, two, I've got, three sisters, so two of the girls and all five of my brothers. We all serve missions. And we have all, except for my youngest sister who's not married yet, been married in the temple. This, I'm just telling you this to show that my parents had such faith and such a strong testimony in the Book of Mormon that it has been passed on to us, that knowledge about the Book of Mormon. But I still needed to find out for myself. I couldn't just rely on my parents' teachings. It was great. They did a great job teaching, and I loved going to church, and I loved learning about the gospel, and I loved the feeling I got in primary and in young women. Uh, just, I have always loved the church. I've always loved attending. Well, when I was 22 years old, I decided to serve a mission, and I had gone to the MTC and had a really great experience, and then I was actually in Jacksonville, Florida, which is where I served, and it was right at the beginning of my mission. I'd only been out in Florida for a couple weeks, and I thought, do I really know that the Book of Mormon's true? Am I really sure that this is a true book? Because if I'm not sure, how am I going to share this with other people? How am I going to knock on doors and literally tell them about this book that I'm not sure is true? So one day, after I'd read my scriptures, the Book of Mormon, I got on my hands and knees in my bedroom by myself, and I decided to pray. I asked Heavenly Father, just like Moroni counsels us to do. And I was really serious. I mean, I thought, if this isn't true, I'm in big trouble, because here I am in Florida serving a mission, and my whole life, I thought it was true so far, and if it's not, then I'm... I'm in trouble, <laughs> you know? This could be bad. 
So I got on my knees and I prayed. And I felt the Holy Ghost whisper to me that I had known that the Book of Mormon was true, that I had already felt that confirmation and that I could have confidence and peace to go out and teach about the Book of Mormon because I had already known all along that it was true. And I felt so much peace and so much happiness that I had received a confirmation for myself that the Book of Mormon was true. And so you know what I did? I went out and taught people about it. And it was hard and it was really good. And I was able to let people know that there's this book that Moroni helped take care of, that Joseph Smith translated, that's all about these prophets who taught about Jesus Christ. And it's all true. And if we read it, and if we pray about it, then we can find out that it's true for ourselves as well. That's our challenge for this week is it's a big challenge and it will change your life. I mean, we need to know that this is a true book. And so that's your challenge is to, with a sincere heart, pray to Heavenly Father to know if the Book of Mormon is true. And you can do it with your family. You talk to your parents about it. Talk to them about if they've knelt and asked Heavenly Father if the Book of Mormon is true. If you have more questions about it, you can also talk to the missionaries. They're a great resource for having more knowledge and being taught more about the Book of Mormon. But that's your challenge this week, is to take a moment and to pray and ask Heavenly Father if the Book of Mormon is true. We are going to end our lesson today by, I hope you sing along, singing the song, Search, Ponder, and Pray, which is one of my favorites. And I will see you all next week. I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on.